Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Well I've made my way all the way to the top of the reservoir because as the water levels drop in more and more areas are opening up for fishing. Now this area is at the very top of the reservoir, very silty. Uh, that's why when I come to land the fish uh, you can't actually venture too far close to the water because it's not that deep actually. It, it shallows out about a rod length. It's only about a foot, ten foot out, but there's this really nice dark area. And that's what I was fishing into, fishing right, fishing middle, fishing left. Whilst they were doing that, there was trout coming in close and attacking the fry that are hanging around the edges. I had a go at one. I thought, right, I'll pick him up whilst he's uh, coming close, but didn't enjoy there. I saw a shoal of uh, probably roach. They were only about four or five inches, but there were, there were about 80 or 90 of them. It's worth a bit more exploring up here, but again, this was during my dinner time. So, what were I fishing? I had a straightforward setup, nine foot rod, intermediate line, 14 foot leader, and I had a single Bibio beaded fly on with a little bit of a marabou tail. Cast it to the far side, give it time to sink, and then draw it back, especially through that dark area on the far side. Very sunny day today. All weekend, I can't get out because it's all thunderstorms and rain coming our way. So that's the method I used. Fish is the right. Fished it forward, fished it left. The fish were coming in for these small fry that were just hanging around the edges. I didn't bring any of them with me. I just had bibios, red tags, beaded spiders. That's what I was fishing. I cast out a good cast out, far side bank, as I was bringing it in. Three rod lengths out, probably only in a foot of water. I didn't even see the fish until it made the splash. Right in front of me. So I've been here about half an hour by now, so I decided to let the fly sink as deep down as possible. There weren't very many obstructions in the water, so that's what I did. And on this occasion, I took a few paces down to the left. So when I started drawing it in, there was a little bit of a bow in the line. But you can see here, it soon took up once that trout took it. And again, when I'm landing it, I couldn't venture too far out, otherwise I'd have started sinking. But there has been occasions here where one guy had to be rescued because he went up to his knees. So again, safety first, I'm on my own. Although Alistair, hi Alistair if you're watching, was further down the bank. He was still too far away. He might have heard my calls for rescue, but I wasn't going to put myself in that situation anyway. And a little fish on the way back down towards the dam wall. But again, this is due my dinner break. Uh, I'd love to go out tomorrow and over the weekend but it's just thunderstorms and the last thing I want to do is start venturing out into the wilderness with a lightning conductor in my hand. But anyway, short video during my lunch break. It's just me and my days out. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you all later.